Number eight. If you go out to eat with three friends and your meal was $72.50, there is 6.75% sales tax and you should tip the waiter 15%. How much should each person pay? This is another multi-step problem, really good example of what you'll see on the EOG. On the EOG, they're not going to give you, you know, this piece over here where they tell you what they want you to do along the way as a checklist. They'll tell you what you need to do in the wording of the problem, but they're not going to give you the checklist. Since we're just doing our first problem like this, we're going to go ahead and use the checklist to help us, and then you'll be expected over time to be able to do this on your own without a checklist. So they already gave us the total for the meal. So we went out to eat. Um, you go out to eat with your three friends, and the meal costs $72.50. And want you to figure out first the total meal cost by figuring out the tax and then adding it on to the $72.50. So we need to know the percentage for the sales tax, and it's 6.75%. We're going to change that to a decimal by removing the percent symbol, then moving the decimal twice to the left. So 0 0.0675 is equivalent to 6.75%. With percentages, remember you're always going to multiply them by something, so 6.75% of what? In this case, the sales tax is 6.75% of the price of the meals. So we take the 0 0.0675 and multiply it by $72.50. So go ahead and grab your calculator. Type in 0 0.0675 times $72.50. And we get 4.89375. When we're dealing with money, you only always need to have two places. So you need to round it to the hundredths place. So if we're rounding to the nearest hundredth, then we're going to look at the three. And if the three, I guess I should say, if the number in this spot where the three is, is a four or fewer, it stays a nine. So in this case, it's going to be $4.89 for the sales tax. To figure out the total we spend on the meal, you just take... Your $72.50, $72.50, and you add on the tax, which is $4.89. So $72.50 plus $4.89 gives us a total of $77.39. Next, they want us to calculate the tip. Now, this is interesting. When I was taught by my parents to give a tip, my parents always taught me to give a tip based upon after you added on the tax. A lot of people actually teach their kids to give the tip based upon the amount they paid for the meal, not the total they spent, including taxes. So it's sort of a matter of opinion here. It's If you look online at what people say, it's generally more accepted for you to give a tip, like most people I think teach to give a tip before tax, but really it can be, be either way. There's not a formal way that you have to do it because tipping is, is not something that is enforced. This is something as a society that we decided to do. So you kind of go by social norms in, in terms of tipping. It's not like something that legally, you know, you're going to go to jail for if you don't tip someone. It's just as a society, we decided that to show our gratefulness for the service that we're given, that we give a tip. And servers really rely on that tip to make it because they really are only given, you know, $2.50 per hour and they make their money off of your, off of your tip that you give them. So in this case, they're telling us the order. So we have to calculate the tip based upon the after-tax amount. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take the percentage for our tip, and they told us we're going to tip 15%. Oh, I already know the percentages are the decimal, so I started to write it. But let me go ahead and show you 15%. To change it to a decimal, you drop the percentage symbol, and then you move the decimal twice to the left, and we get that 15% is equal to 0.15. And it's 0.15 of, and they already decided for us that we're going to use this value the value where we already added the tax on. Now on the EOG, that could be how they ask you to do it. They also could say tip on the pre-tax amount and you'd have to know to tip on this amount instead. You have to read the directions. That's what I'm told in my seventh grade standards is that kids will have to read the directions and do what the directions say on that particular problem. Type into your calculator 0.15 times $77.39 and you get 11.6085. We need to round to the nearest hundredth. The eight makes the zero round to a one. You just round one time. So the eight makes the zero round to a one. That's gonna be $11.61 for the tip. From there, we need to combine the $77 and 39 cents, so this value, and the 1161 to get the total amount that we're going to have to pay, or these friends are going to have to pay, and that comes out to be exactly $89. To figure out the price per person for each person, okay, basically we're going to share the tab, so we're going to divide this amount, $89, by the number of people. This is an awesome EOG problem because they, they want you to read and think. Read and think. You don't read it just one time, you read it multiple times. So let's go back and read number eight. If you go out to eat with three friends and your meal was $72.50, there is 6.75% sales tax and you should tip the waiter 15%. How much should each person pay? If you go out to eat with three friends, you go out to eat with three friends, which means there are four people there. A lot of kids try to take $89 and divide it amongst three people. But if you and three friends attend, there are four people there. All right, $89 divided by four, you get $22.25 per person. I will reread the question. How much should each person pay? We did figure that out. $22.25. We're finished with this problem.